Now, I will say, I was going to use the hashes from the John the Ripper Try Hack Me room. It's a fantastic room and you should definitely check it out if you haven't already done so. However, with that said, because I've previously already cracked those hashes, um, I can't crack them again. And it's quite odd because I've deleted John.pot and I've moved John.pot and I've emptied the logs or I've appended the logs or truncated the logs and I've rebooted my system entirely but for some reason whenever I tried to crack them it doesn't want to crack them despite the fact that I've already got rid of the pot I think there must be some other file somewhere or something stored in memory that's recognizing that I've already cracked them so with that in mind I've created a few hashes that we can identify and crack. So let's have a look at hash1. So I'm just going to cut hash1.txt. I'm going to grab the hash and I'm going to do hash hyphen identifier. I cannot spell. Hash hyphen identifier. And I'm going to paste that hash into there. And it should tell me that it's an MD5. Fantastic. So what can we do with that? Well, of course, we can do sudo john hyphen hyphen list equals formats. And we can see there that in order to crack an MD5, we need to specify the format of raw MD5. So with that in mind, we can do sudo john hyphen hyphen format equals raw hyphen md5 i need to change that to an equals sign and then we can do hyphen hyphen word list of rocku.txt because that's our word list in that directory there i've put it in this directory for simplicity it will probably be somewhere else and then i'm going to specify hash1.txt and you can see how quick that was. I mean, Rocky is a big file, and I've actually added some of these words in manually, but you can see there, we have successfully cracked the first password hash, and it was an MD5, and the answer is never.